Hey, this is Dolly Jorgensen. I'm going to show you how to move files between your computer at home and Sally. Um, it's pretty easy. I have two windows open here where I'm already logged into Sally. I can show you the files I have right there right now. And then I'm logged in. This one is on my personal computer at my house. And I could do an ls and I could see I have a main.cpp and I'd like to move that main.cpp to Sally. So I need to use a command called scp which is a secure copy program. It's encrypted. Um, you should, should be available on your Windows or your Mac from your terminal window without a problem. Um, if I want to copy the file from my PC to Sally, what I'm going to say is I'm going to say I want to copy main dot cpp the name of the file and then where is it going it's going into my account dolly at sally dot cs dot unlv dot edu and it's not enough to just say that i have to say where i want to put it so i have to put a colon and then i'm going to put dot slash and i'm going to say just please copy it to the just the top directory in my account and if everything worked it should come back with it's asking me for a password for sally and that's my password for you it'll be your password um, type it and it shows me that it transferred a hundred percent of the file and that this is the transfer rate and this is how long it took and if I go down here to my Sally where I'm logged in I can say ls and it shows me that indeed main.cpp is there. Okay, so if I want to copy something back, so say I want to copy that file back to my um, my local machine, it's I use scp again, but this time the source is my account on Sally. Dolly at Sally cs .unlv .edu, and colon, I'll have to give it the name of the file was main.cpp. Okay, and where do I want to copy to? Well, I want to copy to where I am, but I don't want to copy it to the same file name because I already have a main.cpp. So let's copy it to main.2.cpp like that. And it should again ask me for my password. And, oh, I typed my password wrong. And it copied it back. And you can see it copied all 1,281 bytes. And it, here's the transfer rate. And now if I do an LS, I can see I have two versions of the program. I copied it over and copied it back. That's all there is to move in files. Just use SCP. And remember to use the colon and the file name. If you don't, it'll just copy it to a file named this. Um, in your directory. So if you see that, that's what happened. But you have to always remember the colon, whether it's the target or here. You had just copied to the same thing. If I'd wanted to have a different name, I could have put dot slash main two or something copied there. Okay, thanks for watching.